Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Recently, Microsoft has released Microsoft Power BI updates for May 2024. There are lots of updates and you can find all those updates from Microsoft Power BI blog. I'll provide a link in the description section, so please don't forget to check them out. However, this video is specific for one feature that I would like to demo. And not only that, there are two updates which are generally available now. We have already created videos for those two updates as well. Number one, Microsoft Tax Query View is now generally available from the modeling perspective. Also, for the modeling perspective, if you have used calculation group using tabular editor, then model explorer as well as experience of calculation groups in Microsoft Power BI Desktop is also generally available. Please start using them for your production work and now you won't have any more problems. In case you have any, you can provide your feedback as well. Well, going further, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always get updated with our latest videos and updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, now you can see that I'm on my Power BI desktop app over here. Let me just open this sales analytics dashboard that I have. But before that, I created a video that how you can manage your items inside a folder in Microsoft Power BI workspaces, which is on Power BI service. Also, while creating that video, I told you that Microsoft is going to bring an update where you can directly publish to a folder, which was not available at that point of time. But now that update is available. So how you are going to start using that particular update? Well, for that, you have to go over here under the settings. That means you have to go to options and settings and you have to enable that preview feature. So let's do it over here. We can directly click on this settings icon over here. Once you are over here, you go. You will need to go to this preview feature. And here you would come here and there would be one setting which is going to say folders. There is an enhanced publish dialog and publish dialogs for folder selection over there. So please start using this one if you haven't selected. Now, let's say I want to publish this report, but before that, you have to open certain report right now i don't have anything over here so what i can do i can simply come here and i'll try to open one of my report which would be let's say hr data chart challenges for example meanwhile this is getting open i'll go on my power bi service and i'll check whether i have a folder over there or not so if i'm going to open over here powerbi.com and i'm going to go to my demo folder say dev demo over here, you can see there is no folder. So I'm going to create a new folder over here, which is in the preview, and I'm going to give it a name demo. Now you can see that I have a demo folder over here. So previously, when this feature was released, you couldn't directly publish there on, into that folder. You have to first publish to a workspace, then you have to move an item over there. But now let's see whether we can directly publish into this or not. So I have opened this report. I don't think so. Even I have some data. Yes, I have some data. So what I can do, I'll just take city, and let's say salary and this is going to be my report it's just a demo report guys so don't worry about it and i'm gonna publish it so if i'll just save this report and try to publish it so over here i have to locate my workspace that was dev demo and here now you can see that i have my folder and I can directly publish into this one. So once you are over here, it's saying do not forget validate the data. So this is the message that I'm uh, publishing over here. And let's see how we can do that. Hmm. Now you can see that you are not getting any option to publish. Probably this is a bug. Otherwise, there should be an option to do that. So what you are going to do, you are going to click somewhere or cancel this one. Well, this is irritating which I'm not sure how it's appearing, but there's no option that you can publish it directly over here. So how to overcome? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to try it again. So Microsoft, if you are watching this video, we are facing this kind of issue over here where I'm not getting any button that I can publish it over here. So there's no button at all. So let me try to escape it. Let's try again. And here, if I'm gonna come again down, so like this, this should come over here so this is dev devops so i'm gonna come to dev demo and i'm gonna select this one and now this select button is appearing over here somehow and you can publish it over there so it can happen guys that this is not coming and in my organization where i'm working we are also facing this challenge so you have to press escape button and then you have to try it again and then you may be able to do it so Microsoft is already working probably on this bug, but Microsoft guys, if you are not working, please have a look into this one and help us out. Now, if I'm gonna go back over here, I'll just refresh my page. 
and I'm going to check that folder once again. And here I can see that my report has been published. So what do you think guys about it? Do you like it or you have some more feedback or you want some more improvement in it? Please do let us know because this feature is still in the preview and you can provide your valuable feedback over there. Also, if you're looking for any Power BI or Microsoft Fabric training programs or any consulting services, please do reach out to us. In case you need any career guidance or any way we can help you out, you can still reach out to us. Till then guys, keep learning, keep exploring the world of data and I'm going to see you in the next video.